Welcome to Like to Like. I am so strapped for time that I'm going to do this as quickly as I possibly can. Um, watch Challenge 2021. Uh, for me, my personal challenge is to wear one watch a week uh, out of my collection. Uh, my collection is about 30 something watches. Uh, week one, I had the Vostok Amphibia, uh, one, one 750. The 750 is the radio room. Um, and uh, the 110 case is the is the really funny sort of UFO looking thing. Uh, I did a quick video on that. Uh, this week two has been the Hamilton Kaki Mechanical that I'm wearing here. And, and this watch is so nice, I bought it twice. But, uh, I have this and um, black dial and green dial. I first bought the bought the black dial in 2015 um, then I was so worried that what am I going to have if the if the black one breaks or goes into service so I bought the green one um, on the channel I've got three three videos at the moment in total and this is the second video in this challenge um, part of this challenge is also that I'm going to try and not buy any watches this year I don't know there's some gray areas that can I uh, flip a watch can I sell can I sell my watch but but the main idea for for this year is not to buy a watch and in that time I want to service some watches clean my collection see what direction I'm going and um, save some money and maybe then in, in, in at the end of the year or well, rather next year, buy myself something big and grand, some kind of a grail watch, maybe. Let's see how it goes. I first have to make it through this year, and it's only been two weeks. It's been quite tough. There's been a lot of stuff I wanted to grab. Um, so the Hamilton Kaki Mechanical. I've found some conflicting information on this. I don't know whether this... the black and green version have been discontinued this is the one with the with the date window uh, we can take a closer look in a moment um, lug to lug on this so the you can say the tallness of the watch how wide it sits is quite big it's 48 millimeters um, the diameter so how wide this is uh, the cross is 38 mil and it's quite thin um, it's only 10 millimeters uh, if I remember correctly they uh, the new the new Hamilton car he came out in 2017 no date version uh, also hand wind uh, parameters are pretty much the same uh, but no date and then uh, 14 as you can say uh, quite a sterile dial if I remember right there isn't isn't the Hamilton text on it um, yet yet to me it somehow still looks quite busy I think the numbers are bigger uh, the, 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 the date and the minute tracks a bit bigger but 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 maybe that's for a different different review not that I have it yet but uh it has been an absolute joy having this watch they it's not perfect by any means there are some some issues that i have with it but it is a really cool watch i love the the hand wind it, it uh, really puts you in touch with with the watch because we have so much you know so much stuff that's you know automatic um I'm not talking about automatic watches, I mean quartz watches, things with batteries, things that you don't you don't really get involved with except when you charge it maybe. So it's really old school, it's it's really fun. But let's take a closer look at this so that you can actually take a look at the watch. So trying to go as quick as I can. Um, Reference number for the green dial is H 
694192363. It's this jobby there that you can see on my wrist with loads and loads of reflection. That's one of the problems I have with this. Um, sapphire crystal, no reflective coating whatsoever. Uh, and sometimes if you're in bright light, it is a bit of a pain. Uh, I'll take this off. I've got this on the Hirsch Rebel, Rebel strap, which for me has been the nicest. nicest. I'm, I'm not a fan of NATO, so this is a kind of a NATO. Uh, it straps and straps in on top of it, kind of, so you still get some, it adds some height, but not, not that much, fortunately. It's not not entirely like a NATO. Um, drilled lugs, love drilled lugs. It's makes it really easy to change the straps out. I think they just look cool. Um, sign crown. And like I said, this is, like the lug was 48, so quite long. I think the lugs are a bit silly. I wish they had made these a bit shorter, or then alternatively had made the watch a bit smaller. This is 38 mil. I think 30, 36 would have been the sweet spot. Um, quick set date, like I said, hand wind. Uh, movement and here's the it's a uh, uh, 28 2804 um, and that runs at at, at at was it eight eight beats a second well let's say it runs it no was it six I think it was six or eight I'm not sure good review isn't this but that's another thing I love about it. Look at that sweep. It's it's really smooth. It's very comfortable to wear, but and this is another problem I had with because of those silly lugs, it does it does tend to well, maybe it's also the way that I wear it. I like to wear it quite, I like to wear my watches low on the wrist. And then quite often I find that it's sort of, you know, doing this. Um, 20 more legs, comes standard on this strap. Canvas, uh, leather backed. These are really comfortable. What I don't like about them is this first keeper that I don't know why they did that. I mean, it's nice that it matches the brushed finish, but uh, it's a bit of a pain in the ass that sometimes you you put it through and two have fallen flat, and then you it's a bit finicky. But oh, wasn't that most of the time it's been on this strap? Uh, this is the the other one, and I'm not sure whether these have been discontinued or not. Some some sites have been saying that these. This has been discontinued. Sorry, there, there's my reflection again. Um, sometimes you can still find them, but with the H50 movement, uh, which is which is uh, Hamilton's. I don't know whether it's propriety, but uh, that apparently has 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 a sort of runtime of seventy hours. But yeah, um, this is a very comfortable watch. But I'll put this on for you as well. You can see what it looks like. There we go. But yeah, I just think those legs are slightly too long, but it's not the end of the world. So what were my problems with this? Well, the lack of anti-reflective coating, um, the long lugs. Otherwise, I think this thing is perfect. Um, sort of like, a, I think it's a, more of a blasted finish. Uh, these really don't pick up scratches. I mean, I've had this for yonks and it still looks great. I do maybe baby these a bit too much, but it is lovely. Um, the winding movement, 
is really smooth and buttery feels really good and to me that's most of the fun of having these these manual wines still going there we go hacks yes and then ah, i forgot to mention that another thing that i really like about these is that they changes instantly see if we can if i can show you again six to twelve it just clicks over and it's immediate i really like that um Accuracy has been quite good. I've had this regulated. It's it's uh, plus five seconds, and the other one I've been tracking on Watch Tracker, which is just a just an app on your well my phone. Um, it, it's been quite good. I think I would like to invest into something a bit more accurate, like a time grapher. But uh, that's been running at at uh, was. I think plus 11 seconds, plus 19 seconds, something like that. And I don't know about you, but I always prefer that my watch runs a bit fast. Uh, I'd rather have it running fast than slow. But yeah, I really recommend these. Like I said, I don't know if they're discontinued or not. You can find the newer one. They look really good too. I'm not a big fan of the 14, but 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 I, th I think these are, it's a wonderful line of watches. I really like Hamilton. I think they're really good value for money. Um, apparently, this green dial was 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 uh, used in the film Pearl Harbor. The main actor is wearing these, and and these have um, a legit military history. So, thanks for watching. Um, sorry, I just rattled through this, but I'm really strapped for time. Uh, thanks for watching. Please, if you do watch this and, and you do like it, press the like button and, and there's more videos coming. Please subscribe. Uh, I never thought I was irritated when people, reviewers and that, ask to subscribe and like and that. But this is surprisingly quite a lot of work and it, it'd be nice to know that, that, that somebody's getting something from this. But I plan to do a better review on this later. This has more to do with the challenge I set myself that I'm going to wear one watch from my collection for a week uh, this year. And it's going to take something like eight months. And then save some money and hopefully buy myself a Grail watch in 2022. But let's first see if I can make this year. Thanks for watching. Cheers.